What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So, as you can tell by the title, we have some juicy, juicy, juicy news to talk about today. So sit on back, grab a snack, and listen to me ramble. First up here on the docket, we got here... So, Decepticons Forever, he shared this DM on TFW 2005 with Mark Clonus, who, if you don't know, is one of the lead designers on the Transformers brand at Hasbro, and he messaged him, he, like, added him in a story, and he showed off the the whole thing that you could do with the Cybertron Starscream wings, the one that just came out in United, how you could put them at the bottom of the legs to kind of make him look like Dirge, and he was asking if a possible Dirge repaint would come out of that off of the Cybertron Starscream body mold. And Mark replies something extremely interesting here. He says two words, they're only two words, but they're two words that make a whole lot of difference, and he says here, no Skywarp. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire, Top Gun reference, I'm a nerd. Oh man, this is fantastic. It seems like Mark just flat out confirmed we're getting a Skywarp repaint out of this body mold first. Now, I'd assume they wouldn't want to waste an opportunity to milk this mold, so I do think Dirge is coming at some point, along with Universe, or well, not Universe, um, the Toys R Us exclusive Thrust, that was in the Vector Prime 2-pack back in the day, uh, probably a Sunstorm repaint from the Legends class version from back in the day too. So they're probably going to want to milk this mold. I'm sure the Armada repaints off of the Starscream version are coming soon too, either later this year or starting next year. Uh, I'm, I, I'm surprised they haven't started sooner with the Armada Starscream repaints, honestly. I mean, you could do Thundercracker, Ramjet, Skywarp. What are some other ones? I think uh, Shattered Glass repaint. So there's a lot, of, a lot of molds, a lot of repaints you could do off of the Armada and especially the Cybertron mold. So uh, I'm surprised that hasn't kicked in a lot quicker. I mean, it's it's kind of random, the repaint selection that they've been doing with these molds. So it, it doesn't really surprise me, but at the same time, it does surprise me how slow it's taken to get these Unicron Trilogy Seeker repaints. But it seems like at some point soon, in like a subline or maybe in, as a mainline release next year at some point, we may be getting our, our Cybertron Starscream repaint into Skywarp. Uh, and that being the first one is an interesting choice because if I remember correctly back in the day that was a Legends class repaint and it was an exclusive at one of the Transformers conventions. I think it was Transformers Comic Con or something like that or maybe it was BotCon. I, ca I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. Yeah, such an interesting obscure repaint to choose out of the Cybertron Starscream Seekers. Uh, I would have imagined either Thrust or Dirge was going to be the first one to do, but no. Seems like it's going to be Skywarp, which makes sense from how they've been doing repaints. They've been wanting to do repaints that really didn't get a lot of wide coverage. They didn't get uh, justice done, if you will. There wasn't a lot of wiggle room for a lot of people to get back in the day when whenever the repaint first came out or the repaint got canceled or was never released. So that's how they've been really choosing how they do repaints the past five or so years since Siege. Uh, so it doesn't really surprise me that Skywarp is first, but it did kind of uh, perk me up a little bit. I was like, man, like... <laughs> Start, Skywarp is first. All right, um, that's cool. It makes sense from a, a repaint standpoint on how they've been choosing their repaints. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this, and I'm really hoping the other Seeker repaints are coming at some point soon as well. And now we have the full wave breakdowns for 2025 of Generations and Studio Series, courtesy of JT Prime 17. And so we're just going to start off with uh, United Wave 5 coming out in January of 2025. It's going to consist of Core, Beast Wars, Dinobot, Deluxe G1, Sureshot or Sureshot or whatever, Deluxe Cosmos Package Refresh, Deluxe G2 Breakdown, My Boy Deluxe Armada Wheeljack, Voyager Tarn Package Refresh, Voyager Ramjet Package Refresh, Leader Galaxy Shuttle Package Refresh, and Leader Class 
Plus G1 Overcharge, which is an interesting army builder repaint of Blitzwing. So pretty much a filler wave with you know with a couple of new repaints and molds in there that were originally in United Wave three or four, but they obviously split it up so they could have some new stuff in this kind of catch up filler wave, which is really much needed in my opinion. These these package refreshes really needed to be done. So pretty solid wave. And for Prime's Wave One, which is going to be the kickoff start, the refresh for Generations coming out in April. This is going to consist of animated Deluxe Wasp, Deluxe Slingshot, Deluxe Air Raid, Deluxe Solus Prime, Voyager Prima, Voyager Armada Red Alert, Leader G2 Grimlock, Leader The Fallen. What a banger of a wave. Fallen, Red Alert, probably both of the Primes and Wasp are on my immediate get list. Uh, and then Wave 2 for Primes, July 2025 release date. We have Deluxe Crasher Package Refresh, Deluxe Alchemist Prime, Deluxe Swindle, Voyager R.I.D. Skybite, Voyager Rescue Bots Heat Wave, and Leader Onyx Prime. Again, a banger of a wave, but man, it seems like the waves have gotten much shorter these days, and it's Wave 2 in... I don't know, Wave 2 used to be much more of a fuller wave with all new characters in it, or maybe one or two repaints, but, I mean, we got a Crasher package refresh already just in Wave 2, and I'm assuming Heat Wave might be a remold of something, but, I don't know, this seems like just a tiny bit of a short wave, like, usually there's a full case of four new deluxes or one that's a, a repaint or a package refresh but we only have three and only two of them are brand new and obviously the third one being a package refresh so it seems like we're seeing a bit of those budget cuts that we were expecting with Hasbro's mainline due to the weak sales they've been getting the past couple of years so that's a bit unfortunate but it is what it is and now for Prime's Wave 3 coming out in October we have Deluxe Micronus Deluxe Venom, Deluxe Skydive, Deluxe Fireflight, Voyager Alpha Trion, and Voyager Flatline. So again, pretty dope wave. A lot of solid character choices in here. Pretty much all of them are solid character choices as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Venom was confirmed to be more so of a new mold from Mark a few weeks back on his Instagram. He said if they were to do Venom, he would be an all-new mold, so that's going to be cool to see. So we do get a full new wave of deluxes here, presumably all new molds. And same thing with the Voyagers here. Oh wait, no, um, Flatline may be a remold of Red Alert, but... Uh, it seems like everything here is going to be new, so we do have sort of a solid Wave 3 after the sort of, uh, less condensed, or a more condensed Wave 2. It's just no new leader classes are in Wave 3, which is kind of weird. Usually you see two new leaders, one remold, and the rest are repacks, so that's a bit unfortunate that they're doing it that way. No no remolded leader class, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And it seems like Primes is cut short, maybe, or JT Prime 17 hasn't found Wave 4 or 5 yet, so it seems like he just left it at Wave 3, which is kind of weird. Uh, hopefully there is a Wave 4 and potentially a Wave 5 for Primes, and it's not cut super short. Uh, but jumping into Studio Series, Wave 1 coming out in January... We have Deluxe TF3 Hatchet, Deluxe TF7 Double Punch, Deluxe Movie 6 Bumblebee, Voyager TF7 Optimus Prime Package Refresh, Voyager War for Cybertron Skywarp, Leader 86 Galvatron, Leader TF7 Ape Link. Uh, a package refresh in there and a couple of remolds or repaints, but pretty much everything here is new and it is amazing. I'm loving the character selection for Studio Series next year. And Wave 2 coming out in April. Deluxe TF4 Widowmaker, <laughs> Deluxe TF3 Q, yes, please, Deluxe 86 Perceptor Package Refresh, Voyager War for Cybertron Ironhide, Voyager TF1 Sentinel Prime, Leader TF4 Optimus Prime, and Leader TF3 Shockwave Package Refresh. I'm really excited for Q, Widowmaker, and the Leader Class TF4 Optimus, because that design of Optimus still hasn't been been done justice in mainline plastic form uh so i'm really excited to see this get done and hopefully done right 
And now for Wave 3, we have a July release. We have Deluxe TF1 Starscream, Deluxe 86 Bone Crusher, Deluxe 86 Jazz Package Refresh, Voyager War for Cybertron Thundercracker, Voyager 86 Scrapper, and Leader 86 Megatron. Super excited for Megatron and the Constructicons. So yeah, this looks like another pretty cool wave as far as I'm concerned. And then wave four is due out in October. We have Deluxe War for Cybertron Autobot Soldier, Deluxe 86 Scavenger, Voyager 86 Mixmaster, and Leader 86 Grimlock Package Refresh. Really needed that Grimlock reissue, so that's great. Uh, the Constructicons, really excited for them. And the Autobot Soldier, I'm curious to see what they do with that. And now for more of like a miscellaneous thing, we have the new size class or new uh, a new subgroup within the Transformers mainline. We have A level uh, assortment two due out in July. We got Wave One earlier this year, late last year from JT Prime Seventeen. So this is Wave Two. We have Deluxe Dev Optimus, Deluxe TF One B One Twenty Seven. So that's interesting, uh, another Optimus and another Bumblebee it looks like from this wave or lineup, whatever this A-level is going to be called, we have no idea. So that's interesting, but um, yeah, no new characters, we already saw these listings leaked, but what is new is that we finally know the wave assignments and the case assortments for everything for next year, basically minus wave 4 and maybe wave 5 of Generations Primes, but Everything else we pretty much have, unless if there's maybe going to be a Wave 5 of the Studio Series for 2025, but I don't think so. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about the Wave Case assortments, how each character is put together for next year's mainline for Studio Series and Primes. Let me know what do you guys think about the Cybertron Starscream. The first repaint that they're doing is going to be Skywarp, it seems like. Let me know what do you guys think about that. Uh, all my social media are linked down below instagram tiktok twitter facebook all that good stuff my email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to subscribe to my new patreon that is linked down below as well you guys are going to get tons of exclusive content that you won't see here on youtube or any of my other social media accounts such as exclusive stop motions exclusive transformers photography sneak peeks at projects i'm working on such as my stop motion films dioramas photography youtube videos uh, you guys get exclusive music clips from my stop motion films you guys get exclusive full length music in general you guys get one week before everybody else here on YouTube access to my stop motion films. You guys get Discord access and probably a couple other things I'm forgetting. But yeah, if you guys want to help support me, help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. It is linked down below. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!